Hi everyone and happy Monday. Um, we are doing um, a planner page today or at least making a start. I haven't decided um, whether I'm going to make this a series yet or just do the one video. We'll see how it goes. Now this is a really lovely floral page and when I did it in World of Flowers um, I wasn't very happy actually with how I did it but today I thought I would try something a little different. I thought I would have a go at doing a sort of limited colour palette but doing something a little bit different so doing orange flowers with yellow middles and brown leaves so we've got a sort of very close palette together with the colours and just see how that works out I'm hoping we're going to get a sort of 60s 70s vibe going on but we'll just see how it goes really so I'm just going to zoom in a little and just randomly choose a flower to start um, we do have some that are similar, so we have a little bunch of three here, for example, and then we have other ones like it down here. So I may um, try and sort of map, pair them up or group them up, or I may not. I should just see how it goes. I think um, we'll start with these. They look really pretty. Now, I've chosen my Arteza Experts to use today just because they've got a lot of nice orange colours in and yellows and some orangey browns, which I thought would all work well together. You can use any pencils um, so this is starting with orange and we're just going to go for here and uh, I'm just going to start coloring away really and having a natter so I hope everyone's well and had a good weekend um, I am recording this on Monday the 28th so a little early um, so uh, um, I've just had a rather nice weekend um, I hope you have too even though you're um, ahead of me um, it's all rather confusing, isn't it? The clock's changed, um, so I'm a little tired because um, we lose an hour in the spring, as you would all know. Because I'm, although my husband says that um, in some parts of America, or he reckoned all of America, I don't know, they um, changed their clocks for the last time this spring, um, two weeks ago or so, and they're not going to do it again. So uh, that would be nice. I also find it messes me up a little bit. So uh, it's. It's tricky, we're all, um, everyone slept in this morning. So I'm trying to make it a little darker near the center. You can make it darker near the edge as well, or instead, it doesn't, I don't think it matters really. It just makes it look a little bit different um, across the petal, so it's not just the same straight coloring. But in fact, there's nothing wrong with just putting the same pressure across. It's fine. So yes, I my alarm woke me up. And uh, it goes off about 15 minutes before I have to get up. So I got woke up and did a Wordle, um, as uh, I do these days. I really dislike the, um, is it called Mastermind game, where you have to guess the colours. But I like words and crosswords, so I've sort of got into Wordle. I'm going to do this one the same. I'm just going to natter and colour it. Um, so, uh, so that was fun. And then I looked at the news headlines very quickly. I uh, I don't always want to look at them immediately when I wake up, but I just had a quick scan and uh, didn't really read any of the articles. I don't like uh, don't like reading about depressing news, but I just like to see what's going on really. So I had a quick scan, and then um, um, yeah, and I then I got up and showered, thinking, "Oh, the shower will wake everyone up." Nope, nobody woke up. So it was then um, half an hour after my alarm went off and actually a whole hour, my my youngest usually gets up at half five and by this time it was half six and he still wasn't awake but he'd been awake in the night and uh, I'd heard him awake in the night. He said, he told me later he was awake for two hours in the night so well, that wasn't good. So he's even tireder having lost an hour the night before. Um, we've got another, quite a few others of these. I'm going to do them. So uh, that was, uh, he was tired. My other son uh, also, he got up next. I gave him a yell and he got up. And then eventually he came, I went down and started breakfast and stuff. And he came down eventually, said he'd woken up everybody else <laughs> before he came down. So uh, making sure they were up for me. So that was good. They all seemed all right once they'd have breakfast. We'll catch up. Oh, 
So um, yeah, it was a nice weekend. We went to see my mum on Sunday. It was uh, UK Mother's Day. Um, I know it's a tough day for a lot of people. It used to be a tough day for me um, before I had children. Um, when we were trying for children for so long, it was really difficult. But uh, now we're so, so lucky. You know, I just always feel for people who are in the situation we were in. Really difficult. So I find the day is a bit... We don't really do it very much. Um, the boys gave me a card, which was nice. Made me a cup of tea. But uh, I went to see my mum. And actually, she, um, she did the cooking. But uh, she didn't mind. I think she's just glad to be able to see us. She had um, been in close contact with someone who had COVID. And uh, she wasn't... She, wasn't sure if she would be able to see us, but she tested negative, which is brilliant. So we were all able to meet up, so that was nice. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, we had a fun time. We'd had to cancel the week before, which was her birthday gathering, because uh, my sister's family had COVID. Ooh, but uh, anyway, they were, they're okay. They're all all right. Uh, anyway, but it was a nice weekend. I actually went out for a walk this morning as well before I'm recording. I'm seeing if there's any more of these flowers. You can't see what I'm looking at. I'm just sort of zooming around. Are there any more? That one looked really quite, whoops, quite similar, but not exactly the same. I think we'll leave it there and we'll do the middles. Now, we've got two, two parts of the middle, a little circle and some lines. Um, what should we do with those? Um, we'll do this really lovely colour, sunflower yellow. And what I'll try and do is make it a little bit darker near the circle and less as we go out to the edge. It may, may or may not work. See, I went for a walk in the sunshine. I only went round the block, um, as they say, um, basically up to the end of our road. Um, out onto the canal path um, um, and back along the canal path past our house and back up there's a little loop um, we can do it's quite fun walking up the road i a bit nosy having a look at the houses and the gardens and things there's a big mix of uh, oh you can't see now uh, I've got to move the book let me just zoom out a bit it's a big mix of houses some in better condition than others in the street but I think that's probably true of all streets in our little square it's the same thing one of my neighbours is always in her garden making it look really pretty this is um, sienna brown and uh, unfortunately me I don't have a garden in the front some of the houses do and some don't and uh, I um I do need to clean my we have a garage and a front door in the front and all our dustbins not very nice really but it's the only place for them and uh, they don't fit in our garage because we've actually um, built extended our ground floor of our house into the garage so it's too small now to fit anything in so but I was noticing how much algae or algae I don't know how some people say it differently to me. Um, it's growing on my front door, so I need to give that a clean. It's a, it's a plastic door, so it shouldn't be harming anything. I'm going to do the leaves all the same on each of these, even though they look different. I don't know if that makes any sense. And uh, so, yeah, I could do with giving that a bit of a clean. I think that's all of those. I'm just having a scan. I think I'm going to do these next. They look quite similar, but I'm going to do them in a much... Tempted to use the blood orange, but it's really dark, so I think I won't. I think I'll go for this one. This is the um, pumpkin orange, and we're going to start with this one. Again, I'm just going to leave it zoomed out. Makes it easier for me to. I don't forget then that you can't see, and uh, I can just colour and chat away. So yeah, it's a, it's a, I do need to do some spring cleaning. But I've been doing cleaning and tidying inside, which has been fun, getting rid of stuff, tidying up. 
my son said to me this morning, you see, you want to do everything, mum. You want a new kitchen. I'm saving up for a new kitchen. Um, you want a, um, you want to change the office around. And I said, well, yeah. And the bathroom needs painting. But I think what he doesn't realise is it's not that I want, want, want. It's that some of the things are necessary. The bathroom needs painting. It's uh, the paint's starting to flake off. So it obviously needs doing to protect it from the wet. So that's not a I want to do. That's I need to do. So I've got to get that sorted out. Um, and um, so that needs doing. And the kitchen, yeah, that's more of a want. It is a luxury, but we it's not very big. But we can move things around a little bit to make it a better space and i'm just thinking you know when we have guests there's not much room and as the children grow and get i assume they might have a partner they might have children they might not you know we're going to need a bit more space for everybody it's hard i can't even fit my um sister's family very well because she's got four children and her husband and then her eldest has got a partner so and then if my parents come along as well this just is very squished so my table only sits six so uh, it's tricky and upstairs my sofa only sits three so you know um it's it's uh it's just thinking you know should we make a bit more space and also um it'd be nice to have a bit of a it's always nice to have a little bit of a new lift to the room i need a new cooker and uh, my tap is broken, it's dripping everywhere and things like that. And I could just replace those things, but I haven't. Uh, but also I've got to make a decision while I'm saving up. I'm thinking, you see, so I talk about it a lot, which is why he thinks, you know, I'm sort of a bit obsessed. But I need to decide what to do about my cooker because it's a gas cooker. It's cheaper to run gas, but gas is worse for the environment. The same as the boiler. The boiler is gas and it's cheaper. But again, bad for the environment. So what do I do? You know, it's... And are we going to be sort of stopping gas boilers soon? My um, my gas man who does my yearly services says no. He says the government is focusing on electric cars and there just isn't enough electric for those anyway. And so to... Um, then they've sort of taken the focus off the electric boilers at the minute because it's just too much, too much of a, uh, you know, too, too much pressure on the electric system. But it's just so hard to know, it's particularly in this time when energy prices are so high for everybody, whether there's going to be an alternative or not. You know, we're very lucky we have solar panels and we decided to invest in them. We had some money um, which we were going to use to pay off our pay towards our mortgage. And we decided that investing in solar panels will be better because we were getting some money back for generating electric and um, and some money back from the government at the time they had a scheme. Um, we still get that money, even though people with new panels don't. And it means that we're sort of getting a return on our investment, as it were. And so it saves us electricity and we get some money. And so we've already made our money back on those. So that's really good and, you know, that helps us use a bit less. The problem is, of course, with the solar panel is that it's lighter in the summer and uh, you don't use as much in the summer. So uh, it tends to be the case that you tend to sell more back to the grid in the summer and we don't get a lot. You, they buy it back about a third of the cost that you pay for it. So it's much better to use it if you're generating it. But in this time of year, you're just not using it really. Right, a yellow for the centre of these will go a little bit browny. Oops, this um, yellow ochre, it's a more browny yellow, we'll use that. And with these sorts of centres, I tend to go around the edge like that, and then less towards the middle. But I think all homeowners have these sorts of decisions to make all the time. And I've also got to think about the fact that when the children are 17, they're 16 at the minute. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Oh, that's better. Sorry. I knew that was going to be really loud. I thought I'd better just stop the video. Anyway, when the children are 17, they're going to want to learn to drive. And they're going to need to 
because they want to start work after college. This one, look, I've forgotten to colour the, the um, orange. I'll do that in a minute. Um, and um, <clears throat> so back to the uh, pumpkin orange for this one. You can't even see it. Okay. Um, so they're going to need to drive because it's unlikely they'll be able to find a work in the town where we live. Or they might be going to university and need to travel there. So um, they're going to need to learn to drive and they're going to need a car. They might be able to get away with one between them if they're near, near to each other. Wherever it is they might work, but uh, very tricky. So uh, I've got, we've got, we'll have to help them out with that. Well, they won't have any money at that age. So, I can hear a strange noise. I think something's strimming. Hmm, I guess it's the weather for strimming, isn't it? Now, I noticed a leaf that I'd missed on here when I was sneezing, as you do. So we'll just do that. This is the um, Sienna Brown. I'm doing this really simply. You know, you can spend a long time layering up, making it look really three-dimensional and pretty, um, which is great. You certainly are welcome to do that. Or you can just do it a bit more quickly and uh, take a little less time and, uh, you know, just do it more casually. So I'm going to do some of the leaves on these with the dark chocolate brown. Okay, so it's a bit glary up here from my lamp, but uh, if I zoom in, it's less glary, but um, then I have to remember to keep moving the page, and I'm not very good at that. So I'm going to do maybe one more set of flowers, and then um, probably leave it there for you to sort of do the rest, because uh, you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. It's really quite straightforward, it's just taking this minimal colour palette and uh, and going through the page. I think, um, you know, you can choose your own favourite colour palette if you want. So you could use pinks and purples and blues. That's my mum's favourite. You know, you can do blue leaves, um, purple flowers and pink centres or something like that. You can do all blues. You could do sort of a light blue petals, mid blue flower centres and dark blue leaves or something like that all the way through. Um, you could um, do something a little bit um, different and do green, all the flowers green and then all the leaves multicoloured. You know, that would be a really real challenge for me. I don't know if I could quite cope with that, but it's just an idea. You know, there are lots of, uh, or you could do every flower and leaf in exactly the same colour with the same pencil. And uh, just keep it all identical. It's different, isn't it? So there are lots of different um, approaches to a page like this. It's just finding something that you're in the mood for, really. I was just in the mood for trying something a little bit um, different to what I normally do. And... Uh, I always find in the planner I'm a little bit more willing to sort of experiment because um, I'm going to sneeze again, hang on. Yeah, I'm a little bit more willing in the planner to do something a bit different just because um, um, it's because it's a bit more bitty, I suppose. You know, it's not it's not a one book of all the same from all the same book. It sounds really weird. I don't, I'm trying to justify in my head what I'm talking about. <laughs> really, no. But, uh, and I think often, perhaps it's because I've often done these pictures a few times before, so I'm looking for a different way of uh, colouring them. In fact, I've done all, I've always done all of the pictures before. Um, oh, actually, the, there's one in here I hadn't because it didn't come from a. A, one of Johanna's main books. I think it must have come from a calendar or um, a planner or something like that because it wasn't in any of her main books. It was different. The, um, it was right near the beginning. Um, that one. That one I've not done before. 
We've done similar trees to that. There are similar trees. I think that's a bit of leaf there. So that one's got darker leaves. Oh, we've got this one. Can you still see? Yeah, I'm trying to work out. Oh no, that's a flower. It's okay. I have worked it out. I don't need to or anything. But uh, anyway, it's really sunny today. But apparently the weather's going to get colder as the week goes on. Um, this week. Um, but uh, I don't know what's going to happen the week this video goes out though. But uh, it's, uh, it is what it is. And it's early days yet. I'm just going to find a sharpener for weather to be um, really good in um, sort of dry and sunny in the UK. Normally we don't really get, we usually get one or two really warm days where you might be able to go out without a coat um, sort of before my birthday, which is in May. And then it doesn't really get really properly summery until June and then sometimes in June, in June we tend to get the really hot, humid, muggy, boiling temperatures of over 30 degrees and then it seems to settle again in July and August. But it's hard to predict the weather these days, you know. Right, there's some more. What should we do next? Do we do a more, let's do a more sort of, hmm. That what colour was like. Hang on, I'm just gonna swatch this colour. Yeah, this this one look it looks really bright. We're gonna do this one, it's called coral, but it's quite a bright orange. And we're gonna do, 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 do what should we do? We do the little ones. Okay, these ones. Sorry about the noise outside. I don't know how loud it sounds on the video. It's not as loud as the noise the other day when someone was cutting some wood, I think. I think they were because I could hear that loud noise when I was recording and then when I looked outside there was sawdust outside a house in the square so I think someone had been cutting wood but that's okay. Um, I think, oh I know what it was actually, he was um, doing some plasterboarding I think, so he's cutting that so I guess it would might look like um, sawdust but I'm not sure, I'm sure that noise I can hear now is probably a strimmer everything's growing with the sunshine and I think it's supposed to maybe rain a bit later in the week and then that will uh, will uh, this is quite pinky pinky um, orange isn't it the coral and I'm actually doing this solid I'm not I'm shading on this one because it's small and um, you can do that throughout this picture if you like with this color scheme I think it will stand out without needing to have lots of sort of shading blending details it's quite fun. I was trying to work out what that is, but I think that's a background. And another thing, yes, background. I think I'm just going to leave this white. I think with these colours I've picked, the white will work. If you do it multicoloured, I sometimes think a black background's really nice with a multicoloured picture. It really makes it jump off the page. But I'm not sure with this it's going to work because the, some of the browns are so dark that uh, they might sort of get lost into the background. You have to really make sure you plan. If you can do a black background, you need to plan that first. Make sure you're aware so that you don't do colours that are too dark that are going to disappear. Uh, we've got lots of little ones, haven't we? So this is more of a colour and chat than a tutorial, isn't it? And I'm not really showing you anything too exciting. But I hope it's okay. Um, it's just warming me up Monday morning doing something basic which is nice and I know some of you um, that get in touch with me you like the sort of um, don't do too much in the way of blending and shading it, it make, takes longer and confidence um, practice so it's nothing wrong with them um, just doing it like this and you could even use a felt tip pen or marker for this do be careful always about it bleeding through the page um, pens all behave in such different ways, it's always so difficult to know. I was just thinking actually a background, a nice background for this, I think would be gold. Like a gold pen, you know, a gel pen, a, a paint pen, that sort of thing. I think it would work well. 
oh, I'm just hitting my tripod with my pencil as I'm moving back. So I might do that, but the difficulty is where do you stop? Do you go all the way to this end and do this all gold, which is a lot of space to fill with gold? I've actually got some stickers, um, which I got recently. You may have seen I did a, that's a leaf. Ugh. I just drew on the page with that pencil. I'm sure that should be leaf there. Um, let's just try and erase that. Um, I. It's not going to erase, I can't imagine. No. Um, I got some stickers recently, and I might have some butterflies that I can put here and here. That if they're um, orange coloured or brownie coloured, I think they might work. I might try that. But I have to have a good old rummage through my sticker collection because uh, there was loads. I was loads more than I expected when I ordered them and um, so many different styles and colours. There's a lot of reddish ones but uh, I've been using them already. If you see my flip through you might think oh, I wonder what she's been using them for. Um, well it's not a flip through but unboxing I guess. And um, I've, uh, I've been using them on cards and things so on envelopes because some of them look like stamps so I put them on envelopes. I put um, on the back of envelopes as well, a little rose or butterfly or something like that, and sometimes inside cards as well. So it's been quite fun um, playing with those, making things look pretty. And they came a bit late for my Easter cards, but um, yeah, that's okay. I um, coloured my Easter cards anyway sent them off to a few people. We don't, we don't do Easter massively in my family. We don't send out cards to many people, um, but a, a few. Sometimes I know I send them out to people I know would appreciate them. My mum used to send them out to me and then she just stopped. And uh, we talked about it. She said, oh, should we just stop? I said, yeah. Because I think I see her so we can wish each other happy Easter. So yeah, that's okay. But uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't know of many people who do it. The shops always stock the cards, and they're always really cute and pastely and pretty, and little chickens and rabbits and oh, lovely things. And I've been doing you um, quite a few spring sort of eastery type pictures, which has been a lot of fun to do. Now I think with this picture, I'm going to finish here. Um, I'm just checking there aren't any more little ones. And I'm going to finish here and um, I'll just show you the centres of these, I think. And then finish it off in all these um, Arteza pencils in the different shades of orange. And then um, I'm just checking for more. I think we're done. Um, and then I will finish it this afternoon actually my son's home this afternoon so I won't be able to record so I'll finish it this afternoon I'll take a photo and it'll be at the end of this video I'm going to use the jasmine yellow just for the centers of these little ones um, so I'll put it at the end of the video so you can see what I did with it and whether I did go for stickers or not or whether I did put some gold behind or not um, I haven't quite decided yet it's always a bit of a until it's finished I never really quite know what I'm going to do, so uh, it be a bit of a mystery. But as I say, what I try and remember to do is to keep the picture at the end of the video on for a little bit longer so that you get a little bit of time just to have a look at it and uh, sit. But you can always pause and uh, then decide. Now some of these little ones have got um, leaves and some of them haven't. I'm going to do them in a... Um, Hmm, I think I'm going to do them in a darker brown. Um, you can tell I'm really sure, not sure really, that uh, I will. I should do them in the cocoa brown. Oh, there we go. There are other, there's another darker brown too. So uh, again, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do an even pressure throughout. And what's quite nice about the Artezas is they're very vibrant and 
easy to apply which means you don't have to layer them up it's not like the polychromos where you'd have to do quite a lot of layers to get this much vibrancy which works really well on certain pictures and certain things that you want to do but uh, for this picture I'm trying to keep it really simple sorry my hands probably in your way but I hope you can sort of see the idea how it's developing and uh, where are we here and uh, I'm gonna as I say I think I've talked long enough that one hasn't got any yellow in um, I know some of you really like the longer videos and, and a bit more it's tricky to have the time at the moment I'm trying to get ahead ready for the Easter holidays um, so that I've got two videos a day without having to record very much while my children are here on holiday but uh, so that's why they might be a little bit shorter for just a little bit of time and then I'll have to see what I can do but obviously it also depends how much work I've got on At the moment I haven't got any but I've got a couple of meetups with friends this week as well so it's uh, you know it's just fitting it in and sometimes what I'm in the mood for, you know, once I've done a long video like this one seems to be going on for hours, um, I sort of talk myself out and then I haven't got anything to talk to you about. So uh, that can be a problem too. I'm just checking for any more leaves. I think we're done. Yeah. Now we're going to run out of oranges and browns and yellows, but the joy is that we can just reuse an orange, but use it with a different yellow and a different brown and just continue it like that. So that's my basic palette. As I say, I will finish it. What I'll probably do is sort of group this one, this one and this one and this one together um, and things like that and just um, try and group them up a little bit and uh, it's with regards to colour. And get that done and as I say it'll be at the end for you to have a look at I might have to try and stick a butterfly on top of that for example but we'll see what happens as I say I will leave it now till this afternoon and uh, and have a go and finish it off and see how it looks so thank you for watching and listening probably mainly listening um, <laughs> there wasn't much to watch really was there but anyway I hope um, I hope that was okay and gave you a few ideas and as I say the finished hold on for the finished one you can have a little look and decide if it's something that you want to have a go at so thank you have a lovely lovely day and happy coloring